Hello and welcome back to my latest SQL Server Quickie. In the last two SQL Server Quickies I have talked about cross joins and inner joins in SQL Server. Today we will continue this discussion by talking about outer joins. The idea of the outer join is that rows are returned when there are no matching rows in the other table. For the missing row, you will get so-called null extended rows as placeholder values. Let's switch now over to the flip chart where I want to describe this behavior in more detail to you. I want to show you now how an auto join works in SQL Server. The auto join itself consists of three phases, logical phases. In the first phase, again, we perform our quest join, our Cartesian product. The second phase is the filtering phase, the same phase as on the inner join. So we again evaluate our join condition. So we just search for those rows in our Cartesian product where the rows are the same. So we have here value 1 and 1. 2 and 2 and now the third phase of the auto join is called add null extended rows in an auto join you have the possibility to mark the left table or the right table or both tables as preserved with the keyword left join right join or full auto join so imagine now we perform a left join between table a and b in that case, we want to preserve the rows from the table A. So we have here the row 1, the row 2. We have no matching rows for the third row. So in that case, we are adding here in our result set the third row. And for the values of the right table, in our case for the table B, we are just adding here a so-called null extended row means SQL Server returns you null values as placeholders where you have missing values on the other side of your outer join. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I want to describe this behavior to you. In this demonstration I want to show you the semantics of outer joins and how to work with them in SQL Server. The following query returns all the customers from the table sales.customer together with the sales information from the table sales.sales order header. It is a left auto join, therefore the rows from the left table, in our case from the table sales.customer, are marked as preserved and are always returned. If there are missing rows based on the join condition, SQL Server will add null extended rows for the table sales.sales or the header as you can see from the result of the query. When you take a more detailed look at the execution plan, you can also see that SQL Server has chosen a merge join as the physical join operator that performs the logical left auto join. When you rewrite the query as a write join by swapping the tables, nothing will actually happen. The query optimizer will again swap both tables and rewrite the write join as a left join. The goal is again to use the smaller table as the outer table of the physical join operator. In that case, you have again a left join between the table sales.customer and sales.sales or the header. The following query is also very interesting to look at. The query again performs a left join between the tables sales.sales or the header and sales.customer. But in addition, there is also a filter predicate which afterwards eliminates the null extended rows from the right table sales.customer. You are really performing an inner join between both tables. The query optimizer is smart enough to see this contradiction and transforms the outer join into an inner join in the execution plan. It wouldn't make sense to perform an outer join and then afterwards explicitly remove the added null extended rows. By just performing an inner join, the query will be faster. 
In this SQL Server Quickie, I introduce the concept of auto joins to you. The idea behind the auto join is that missing rows from one table are preserved by adding null extended rows in the result set. Therefore, the auto join gives you the added possibility of marking one or both tables as preserved with the keywords left, right, or full. I hope that you have enjoyed today's SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to seeing you again next month when I will talk about semi-joins. Stay tuned!